Times were hard in New Jersey in the spring of 1936. The Great Depression was in its seventh year. Unemployment remained stubbornly high. To make things worse, on April 15th, the New Jersey Relief Administration, the state's welfare agency, shut down for lack of funding. Some 270 protesters calling themselves the Workers' Alliance took over the legislative chamber in Trenton. They used the speaker's lectern as a cutting board for their bread and cheese rations and law books for pillows during their eight-day occupation. The protesters demanded relief funds and other measures to aid the poor and destitute. After initially declaring there was no money available, the legislature used $6 million raised through an inheritance tax to provide direct assistance to the hungry and the unemployed. Other demands of the Workers' Alliance, such as the 40-hour workweek and a minimum wage, would be incorporated into later New Deal legislation. Many of these continue to make up the foundation of our current social safety net. It Happened Here, New Jersey is a production of Kane University in cooperation with the New Jersey Historical Commission, enriching the present by exploring New Jersey's past.